How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about GGPI, which showed a lot of strength inside of the market today. I want to send out a big congratulations to all of my investors and my swing traders out there. We were talking about this play loading the boat when it was trading below $11. I'll talk about it further in this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is a technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in a bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side and then when all of that is done we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details so let's get to it so we're going to do a technical analysis for ggpi let's see how it performed on the day so it ended up closing at twelve dollars and 82 cents being up 11.87 percent on the low it tested eleven dollars and 81 cents and then on the high testing thirteen dollars and thirty cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 20 20.755 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 3.903 million shares so we had well above the average in regards to volume and it's part of the reasons why we've seen some strength in the stock now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the rsi down below it is at 75.74 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are above the 200 day the 50 day the 21 day ema and as well as the 100 day so we had a strong gap up due to the news that came out today I'll talk about it later on in the video but you can see we ended up reaching a high of $13 and 30 cents and if you guys remember what I was saying in the previous video the moment we can get above 1250 we could look forward to that breakout and that's exactly what we got today yes we did pull back and we closed at 1282 so going into tomorrow I would love for us to continue to hold up around 1250 but to be be realistic with you guys we also can't forget the fact there is a gap to the downside due to the catalyst so knowing where this gap needs to be filled it's going to be all the way down here right here around eleven dollars and fifty cents so that is one thing you want to keep in mind so if you were swing trading this play you want to make sure that you're protecting your profits and making sure you have your stop loss in place you don't have to sell completely out of your position you can look to see if there's more momentum but that is just something you want to keep in consideration so so the next level that we want to see is breaking the high of the day. So we can get above $13.30, then GGPI can make a move all the way here to around $13.85 and then see if we can make that push going to $14. So it will definitely be interesting, but just know there is opportunities to the upside and there is also opportunities for anyone that wants to play puts to the downside. But of course, still holding on to my position because we've been talking about this play for quite some time and I want to see this stock move further up. Let's move on to the short interest information so we're going to take a look at the short interest information for ggpi so for the off exchange short volume ratio it's at 38.79 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is at 290,709 shares scrolling down further on the page the short shares availability is at 250,000 updated 15 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 3.12 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we could see for the close of the 31st it was at 39.47 and then for the close of the first being at 38.79 so one thing that is clear ggpi does have short squeeze potential now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for ggpi so we see on the inflow it's at 44.93 and then on the outflow is at 46.62 so it was actually an outflow day taking
taking a look at the breakdown, we can see on the large, it was 0 0.94 million. On the medium, it was 32.20 million. And then on the small, it was 11.79 million. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 0 0.70 million. On the medium, it was 34.50 million. And then on the small, it was 11.42 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for April the 4th, it being that inflow of just over 239,000. We also did see a big inflow on the 29th, which was just over 264,000. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tend to represent the retail side, we had more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large represents whales, institutions, and funds, as we just covered, there was more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 21.47%. No surprises there. We saw a lot of strength in the stock. It did see above average volume as well. So it did grab the attention of a lot of traders. And it's part of the reasons why we had the price action we had today. So let's go into the final thoughts and we'll talk about some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for GGPI, that's going to be bringing Polestar public. Let's go over the recent press release that came out today. I actually ended up retweeting this on my Twitter. So let's get into it. So today Polestar and Hertz announced a partnership that will see Hertz purchase up to 65,000 cars over five years. The partnership will enable us to create even more opportunities to discover just how good Polestar cars are. So this is really exciting right here and I know it's even more exciting for all of you that were able to get into this play with me when I was saying to load the boat while it was trading under $11 and while I was saying the risk to reward ratio is one of the best out there inside of the markets especially for how choppy it is. Now the part that you guys love to hear let's talk about the price action. So remember what I was saying in previous videos the moment we can have a break above $12.50 you can see the stock going to $13 and that's exactly what we got on the day. But one thing that you want to be clear about, even though we did close at around $12.82, I want to see support hold up either A at $12.50 or at $12. We can't ignore the fact that it did have a gap up. So there is a gap that needs to be filled to the downside. And that is around $11.50. So as a trader, there are opportunities that you can take advantage of to the upside and as well as to the downside. But if you're looking for a bullish move, then I wanna see some price action above the high of the day, which is at $13.30. Because the moment we can get above this level, that's where we can get to $14 and then make that move getting close to 15. So that's why I would keep this play on your radar. But if you have been swing trading this like when I brought it to your attention, you should be seeing some green inside of your portfolio. That also makes me want to move on to the next point. Make sure that you're moving up your stop loss. I want to make sure you're protecting your profits because if it does pull back, I don't want you saying, well, you know what? I should have took a little bit of profit. I, for myself personally, I see a lot more upside in this place. So I will not be exiting my position whatsoever. I want to make sure I'm being very clear about that because because my intention for this play, I want to see it get to at least $14. I think this is very achievable. I will be keeping a close eye on the volume as well because we saw a lot of volume on the day because the moment the volume begins to die down, that's when we can start seeing a further pullback in the stock. And I want to make sure that is something that you are aware about and that you are prepared for. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, it can have short squeeze potential, but we need to have continued buying pressure coming into the stock. And that's why I was giving you guys those levels that you want to look out for. We know as far as for the EV sector is concerned, it ran hot today. We saw many plays that were running up. So the moment we had things cooling off, this is why you can start seeing some changes and more volatility in this stock. So overall, it was great to see that we are up almost 12% on the day, but I want to see some continued strength, especially as this week progresses. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll make sure to keep you guys updated and inside of the loop. We'll be talking real soon.